yeah, we finally got onto something cheery. This is great. Jack Black's mum. All right, this blew my mind. This absolutely good, right? blew my mind. I, I had no idea about this. Like, this is open it up. Let's open it. Judith Love Cohen. You know she's already notable because she has her own Wikipedia page and three names. Also, hang on. So what's what's Jack Black's name? Jack Black. Just go on to the right. No, no, no. Because his mum's name. No. Oh, maybe. Well, this no, is... she'd be black. No, no, it is black. Uh, she was married three times. Ah, uh, okay. Because uh, so Jack Black definitely sounds like a stage name. Oh, Thomas Jacob Black. Okay, well, I guess Jack is short for Jacob. Stripper! That was a good movie. School of Rock. Oh, dude. That was that's Hello. one of my favorite mu- movies. What is, what's that like? This is Mr. Schneebly. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Miss Lemons thinks she can hear music from coming down the hall. Well, kids, I guess Miss Lemons must be smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute gold. Amazing. Perfect. Oh, God. I think that's probably the only musical I've ever enjoyed. Um... <laughs> That's so good. Okay, Judith Love Cohen was an American aerospace engineer and uh, and author. She worked as an electrical engineer on the Minuteman missile, the science ground station for the Hubble Space Telescope, the tracking and data relay satellite, and to top it all off, the Apollo space program. You know, I was half half impressed with my own CV, and that's just put me to shame. Oh, that's awful. That's amazing. Like incredible. Is in- like yeah like, and this is jack black's mum do you think she because she's she died well, only he's a few got years a nickelodeon ago. award do you think she's like he's like yeah you know i uh star you know i'm a huge hollywood hit i'm a famous rock star i'm uh you know i'm a made man she's like you could do better jacob <laughs> thomas <laughs> no it's no, uh I, I, well I wait think... what i didn't even read this before what scroll left what after her retirement as an engineer, she founded a children's multimedia publishing company, eventually publishing more than 20 titles. Yeah, and the, there's a list of those titles. So they were all sort of uh, female empowerment books. So they, they were, you can be a woman ast- astronomer, you can be a woman chemist, you can be a woman video game producer, things Dude, like that. So they this were all, is so cool. Yeah, like they were like sort of proud sort of feminist books saying, I, I was one of the only ones in my in my um, like sort of field. when I went, she said, It says here she went through university and doing her master's program, she was the only female edge engineering student in the whole class, um, yes. which is mental. And, you know, I love these sorts of stories. It's like the... It's like the compu- Dude, after the depression-riddled episode today. Nice. <laughs> We're like a bit of positive news. Yeah. Sorry, carry on. No, no. I was, I was going to say, it's it's like um, the uh, the computers, the... Um, uh, the women that helped get uh, the the first people on the moon, the the, the NASA computers. Yeah. There, there were four black women. I cannot remember their names. They were, they made a movie about them. Hidden recently. figures. Hidden figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was uplifting. That everyone, like, despite fighting against the regime, yeah, were able Judith to Love Cohen. Them. What are you doing? No, like you're working for the Apollo space program. Well, but she would have worked with them. Yeah, I know, but like, she's white. She's <laughs> <laughs> Jewish, Cohen. <laughs> Yeah, she had a step up, but I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely joking. She's incredible. The women from Hidden Figures were incredible. This is an incredible movie. Yeah, and well, do you know? She, so Jack Black wasn't the only known son. Like, she's got another famous son. She had four children. Uh, I'll just quick, quickly give the rundown. So yeah. she had her first three: Neil, Howard, and Rachel, with Bernard Siegel, who she met in college, and then they got divorced. And then she uh, later married Thomas William Black. Her fourth child, Jack, was born in 1969. There you go. So Jack and Blo- uh, Blo- uh, So who's the other son? Cohen and Black divorced. Jack. No, who, well, you said there was another one who four. was also notable. Yes. So the other one here is... Wait, there were four? There was four. So she's got Neil as well. Yeah. And oh he my was God, also... that's a Wikipedia page. Yeah, yeah. Neil Gilbert Siegel is an American computer scientist, systems engineer, and engineer known for his development of many key systems for the United States military, including the Blue Force Tracking... Uh, system the u.s army uh, the u.s army's first unmanned air vehicle system and the u.s army forward area um, air defense system what a family that's impressive like i like these it it makes sense though because you know when you see when you're always like wow all from the same family it's like yeah because they're really smart and probably have that hard working gene and then also you know if the parents are successful it's going to help the kids be successful if the brother and all of this stuff who's uh uh do you, did you watch that? Um, oh, what the hell is it called? Based on the Margaret Atwood. Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. Did you watch that? I've not seen it. No, I read the book. 
What's it? The guy in there, the guy. Oh, you did. I didn't read the book. No, I read the book. Yeah. Smart man. Um, uh, the, the guy, Colonel, whatever his name is, the guy who's the, the main bad yeah, guy. Yeah. His. He's Ralph Fiennes' brother. Is he? Yeah. Oh. I was like, wow, this is like two mega actors. And then I looked up the Fiennes family. There's like loads of them. They're all super successful. And then also, um, who was it? Louis Thoreau. Mm-hmm. Is is like Justin Thoreau is his cousin. Oh, and the Thoreau family has loads of famous Makes people. Sense. Especially in the media, if you know someone, it's the like it helps you so much to get in. You know, yeah. it's like, I mean, and also they say, you know, they always say like you are who your friends are as well. Like, oh, you so, are the average of your eight closest friends exactly, or whatever. Yeah, dude, and totally, hundred percent. Like, like if if you spend your life sitting around sitting around a table discussing how you're gonna like how you're being successful, what which system you're developing or whatever that's what you're going to be sort of that's that's going to become your life you know so yeah i mean and honestly I, like not talking talking down on jack black like he's he's mega successful like mega. like massive businessman massive he's very clever he's got a nickelodeon award and uh, wow i bet he has more than that uh, he's he's great oh he does i think he's got all sorts of stuff like this that's a that like he, and he was kung fu comedian. panda comedian 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 like so primarily even comedian it's hilarious tenacious d uh i mean ma- massive absolutely huge there you go black was nominated for two gold golden globes legends uh yeah and he was introduced Holly to Hollywood Hollywood Walk of Fame. Fame. that's when you know you made it um let's talk about someone else with a similar story which i knew i i found out about this for this show and then one i knew previously which is one of my favorite factoids do you know the band the eels yes oh dude play some eels while we talk Oh, no, just give us a few seconds of eels. I love just, the eels. Just want some eels. I love the eels. That's like one of my favorite bands. Eels. See what when you search YouTube, what comes up for the eels? What's their biggest hit? It's gonna be eels. Mr. E's Beautiful Blues, isn't it? That's I see some see Nova came. Nova came for the, for the soul. soul. Oh, dude, this is so okay, We're gonna play some eels. We might get an ad. I know. I just want to hear a few seconds of eels. Oh. Bloody Grammarly. Grammarly. Oh man, I made fuck I made a lot of money from Grammarly, Grammarly one time. <laughs> Don't fuck off Grammarly. We they, like you. They did a sponsor spot with uh, on one of our channels, and uh, oh yeah, wait, just turn this off. So, so. Such a tune. Oh, the eels. After we're done recording today, I'm gonna listen to a lot of eels. You're gonna sing it. No, absolutely not. Pause it. I don't want to get demonetized, but this is great. <laughs> um, so, Eels, the guy... Uh, open up the page. Yeah. Uh, Hugh Everett the Third. What a name. Is... So, this guy... What's the... Everett, what's the lead singer of the Eels called? Scroll down. Children. Uh, um, uh, the, the children. There we go. Because uh, it's called E, but what's his name? Mark? Mark Oliver Everett. Mark That's Oliver it. Everett. Um, so, this e. guy... Mark Oliver Everett is the lead singer of the Eels, who did... Um, I'm going to stop talking about my love of the eels because I'm like, oh, he did this great live album. And it's like, no one cares. Um, this guy on the right, Oi. scrolling on his face, right he's on. the scientist who came up with a many worlds interpretation of quantum physics, which if you're unfamiliar, is the idea that uh, in a parallel universe right now, um, while doing this podcast, I'm also in the process of doing black tar heroin. <laughs> because I'm not sure that's how the theory works. <laughs> well, the theory there's, there's an infinite it's number. Everything of, splits, isn't it? That there's a million different options in every. There's single an option. infinite number of options. So everything that is possible is happening in a parallel universe. So in some parallel universe, there is a Simon who has a heroin problem, and in this podcast, that somehow it's come around to the same moment. But the only difference is in that universe, I'm doing heroin right now. We're already getting demonetized because we're talking about heroin. We could listen to some more eels. Uh, <laughs> put the eels on in the background. <laughs> I've, I've closed the eels. Oh, so okay, sorry, no, all right. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was, like, now we've ruined it. We could have at least oh, played some eels. We could have enjoyed the eels. We could have sent some money to Mark Oliver Everett. Does talking about heroin demonetize it? Often, yeah. I Does mean, it? drugs oh, in God, general. Drugs. It's but fine. What if we say drugs are bad? Drugs are no, still do drugs. drugs. Still drugs. Um, so this guy, he came up with this theory, which is becoming much more you know i mean it was always taken as a serious yeah. theory and now people are seeing like oh this is kind of makes seems sense. to be correct um i i'll just show here there was there was a picture of the where is it of the quantum mechanics of of it uh here we have a quick here hang on okay just quickly just this quickly. is gonna get deep though just this a, is quantum physics all right hang on look at that 
he he came oh up my God, with that. That is an equation. He came up with that. Like that's mental. Like this he's is, he's an impressive scientist. Imagine the Greek alphabet looks something like this. Yeah, it's this, just all right, shoved just, into like a, a little box there's, with there's some equal signs. Beta and alpha and pi. So, what's extra fascinating about this dude is he didn't give a shit. Like he lived his life. And he smoked, and he ate, and he died at how old? He died. He he died young. 51. Um, 51, 51 relatively young. Because he was just smoking and all of this stuff. And he just believed, like, in another parallel universe, another version of me lives on, so who gives a shit? He truly believed so much in his theory that he's like, it doesn't even matter. It's kind S- of- scroll down, see if there's... I, I, want, I haven't read this page in ages, because I know this story, but... Um, after, after, uh, just go down to like death. Death and death legacy. legacy. Here we go. Uh, so... He died of a sudden heart attack. So, uh, at the age of 51, Everett, who believed in quantum immortality... That's it, quantum immortality, that's the name. ...died suddenly of a heart attack at home in his bed on the night of July 18th, 19th, 1982. Everett's obesity, frequent chain smoking, and alcohol <laughs> drinking almost certainly contributed to this. Although, uh, although he seemed healthy at the time, a committed atheist, he had asked that his remains be deposed in the trash after his death. His wife kept his ashes in an urn for years before complying with his wishes. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. I, I love the fact that it's just such an interesting. The guy who came up with a parallel world theory is the father of the lead singer, singer of the Eels, and then uh, he from the Eels. Uh, he lots of people died in his life, and it, he sings about it in his songs, and I think it makes his music quite so good um, and deeply sad. And that is that, that was supposed that to be put a cheery. Downer on a cheery story didn't yeah. it <laughs> um 